It's not for the poor. We with sickle cell, we have a lot of complications. You have your crisis, sometimes going to hospital quite a number of times. It's also based on nutrition. Over 55 years old, yet so strong and defying the oddities of living with a sickle cell disease. When I found out I was sickle cell, um, this was back in 1965, not much was known about sickle cell. And um, it took a while for us to know what to do. Um, I, I just realized I was going to hospital frequently. They were putting needles in my veins, always looking for blood. I was going for blood transfusion almost every month. And, but as I grew up, I began to realize there was something different about me. Olua Tohin Adeshola has lived with a condition for over 50 years and now provides support and free medicals for indigenous persons living with the disorder across Africa, but with Lagos, Nigeria as her focus. Sickle cell has a lot of complications because of the blood uh, um, the, the veins that go into your body and this, how they get stuck. So when oxygen is, is not there, you have different, several other complications from eyes to stroke to anything. Common symptoms include chronic anemia, unpredictable pain, tiredness or fatigue, and jaundice. So it's challenging um, in trying to get um, access to healthcare and that's why we've been trying to do that um, to help people with sickle cell to bridge a gap between the hospital and um, the patient so that they can have access to healthcare at little or no cost. So we provide free medication, all our medications are free, every single one prescribed and then doctors consultation and um, sometimes we help them with blood tests. We even put them in HMO, some of them. The sickle cell anemia disease is genetically transferred when an AS person marries another AS partner. This, experts say, must be discouraged. So when you look at Africa generally, the primary thing is that we've got to educate the people that are bringing the children forward. Okay, that's the first thing. Everyone's got to be educated, got to know. Don't bring a child into the world in the first place if they're going to be challenged with this. Try and be sensible about it. Uh, and if you do, then then you, you've got to appreciate the fact that there's a lot of work you've got to do in looking after uh, these warriors. Uh, so for the African continent, it's just education and education, and that's where the government comes in about trying to see whether you can even literally legislate uh, that, look, if you know you're of this particular blood type, then don't, don't do it. It is almost like uh, walking into a, a time bomb. Medical practitioners say the condition can be better managed. So the goal in Africa is typically management. And in management, you want to think of first suspicion. You want to be highly suspicious of um, crisis moment for that child or for that individual. You want to find out when or how does this crisis present. For those, um, when you understand that, you want to remove stress from this individual, okay? So sometimes it's said that sickle cell patients cannot be doctors, or well, that's not true. They can be anything they want to be, but stress must be reduced to about 40%, 40 to 60% of an average individual. Now, the other thing you must think about is um, dehydration. They are easily dehydrated. So you want to improve on the amount of fluid intake. So many times you see them with bottles of water just to make sure they have beyond three liters of water every day. Awareness of the sickle cell anemia disease at all levels is also crucial, experts say. As a nation, I think awareness, the level of awareness and advocacy for its support from the government for things uh, of this nature is really, really very poor. We're talking that we have situations of a condition that affects millions of people. So really, 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 we need a lot more. We need awareness amongst the government, we need policies that is going to help recognize this as a special condition and the kind of things that needs to be done, you understand, deliberately to help. Are there, is there a need to add certain things to school curriculum? Is there a need to give special attention to children who live with sickle cell? Because it is a condition. In, in developed countries, they see them or refer to them or categorize them under um, uh, people with the handicapped.
In developed nations such as Europe and Asia, children with sickle cell anemia are regarded as handicapped children who require special attention. In Africa, on the other hand, experts agree a lot more work needs to be done. Mary Chinda for New Central.